What's up YouTube? This video is going to be more about installing my turbo back exhaust system on my 1990 Nissan Skyline. Uh, I know most videos I usually upload is more about car edits and such and I haven't been posting much but today is going to be a, something different that I've done. Um, for those that don't know, I did buy a Skyline. It is not the prettiest. It, the paint and the clear coats fading. It's basically gone. Although it is mostly stock, except for the wheels that it came with that I bought with it. Um, inside's clean. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the car. But let's get started with today's video. So here are the two boxes of my turbo back exhaust. The top one right here is the bell mount down pipe. And this one right here is the cat bank exhaust, so all both from ISR Performance, Performance, and I ordered them from NjukuRacing.com. Let's open up these packages and see what they look like. turbo I'll, I'll open up the plastic later let's get to the cat bank exhaust real quick sorry that this thing's gonna keep staying in focus uh, out of focus most of the time you know I'm filming on a Sony a7s right now and for those of you that don't know the camera this does not have stabilization I also do not have a autofocus lens so I have to do everything by manual hmm oh yeah Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that too. Oh, we got some stickers and some gaskets to both again. Put this on the side for real quick. ISR Performance. Uh, formerly known as ISIS. For those of you that don't know. And here's the uh, mid piping right here. Supposed to be three inch all the way in diameter with a four and a half inch tip. Uh, from what I've heard, it's actually the length that's four and a half. I might have to measure that up later. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Let me uh, let me get this all out of the plastic real quick and put it on the floor and then I'll, see, I'll show y'all what these pipes look like. All right, so I got the exhaust system out of its package so they look good they look real good um i measured it up earlier and uh yeah it's uh three inch in diameter it's three inches right there three inch diameter just like they say uh, i haven't measured the tip yet but i think they said this is the lengthness oh look at that it is yeah four and a half inch tip for the price that you pay for this exhaust turbo back exhaust system on a stock rv 20 DET. It's really not that bad. So uh, let's get to the install. So here's the Skyline I bought. Don't mind the pollen. Just let it sit in for about a couple days because I haven't driven it. Let me pop the hood real quick. I can do it without opening the door. And so here's the engine. It's completely stopped. No other mods. I'm gonna start with the car real quick. And since I haven't driven it, it's gonna be from code, so I'm gonna let it warm up for a little while. My nice little Sony double dim right here. One of the first things I installed because speakers were blown out. And it was an old radio. You know, something that I didn't really like and I needed, I needed something to listen to. So let me start the car real quick. Oh yeah, I got a little Japanese lady that always beats me every time I come in here. But I'm gonna let the car warm up a little bit and then I'll do a little couple revs so that you can hear what a stock RB20 with a stock muffler Exhaust sounds like. Alright, 
I, now I'm gonna let the car cool down so that I can install the exhaust without burning my hands. Now that the car is jacked up, I'm gonna start by taking from the cat back off and then I'll work my way up to the downpipe. Had to change shirts a little bit, it started to get a little bit hot, but I'm gonna get started on this. Oh man, where to start? I guess I could start unbolting from the cat and back. Obviously that makes more sense, right? Why do I have to do this by myself? Why does Pluto have to work today? Got the heat shut off and obviously the bolts on it broke as well because I didn't put WD-40 but I will put WD-40 on this nut right here same thing on the other side but there's two nuts and you need to unscrew this O2 sensor right here yeah pretty sure yeah O2 sensor all right so a little update um I was gonna take this whole heat shield off, but then looking at it, I realized that after I get this uh, cap, cap back off, all I have to do is um, unbolt over there. I think it's like two bolts again, or and then there's like a mount that way. I think that's it. I have to go over there and look at it, but I gotta take that. There's like one bolt there. But after that, I take the cat off and then I could just take the downpipe off. So I was wasting my time on this heat shield. But I did need to take the heat shield off this cat so I can at least get to these bolts. And I've already put WD-40 on it. And then this right here, this little sensor, little two. Let me uh, try to focus so I can get a little bit closer. Yeah, there it is. All right, so this thing right here, Found out it's a 13 millimeter wrench that goes right here. This thing was a 13. I thought it was a 12 or a 14. 14 was a little bit loose. I couldn't get the 12 on it, but the 13 was a little bit really tight. I had to kind of hammer it in. But uh, I got it without any problems. And uh, it's a little bit dirty right now, so I bought some. I bought some brake parts cleaner. So I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna spray this and try to get cleaned up a little bit. Also, when I was trying to take this heat shield off, I kind of gave myself a little bit of boo-boo. Look at that. Oh my God, I fucking hurt myself. Always, every time when you're working on a car, you always hurt yourself. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, cleaned up just a little bit more. Not so bad. Having a little issue with this this nut right here. It's dripped. I can't get it out right now. Oh fuck me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this nut either. Hmm. Maybe if I take this off, those nuts, if I can get it off, I can just straight up unbolt the whole cat back so this bolt over here is starting to strip too and I don't want to make it any worse I don't know what to do now might have to call my buddy Gavin to help me out whenever he gets off all right um I've been messing with the car for about like an hour and a half now and I can't get these bolts and nuts to loosen up and I'm basically just stripping it out now so I called my buddy Gavin uh to help me out with it later whenever he gets off already got the exhaust packed up in the car and um just gonna head over there look at him right there there's the man there's gavin and look at that remote garage opened the door for me wow i don't know the road my damn rear view mirror fell down Busted. damn boy hit my turn signals turn my turn signals on coming up the road damn boy name of his wheelbarrow all right <laughs>
here. I don't know what this little guy does. Isn't that the O2 sensor? No, he's like a... What is that then? I don't know. It looks like when well, my car has this thing that puts air into the catalytic converter. Uh huh. And that's what that looks like. I thought that was O2. I've never seen an O2 sensor like that if it is. Okay, well, I mean, that's... Is that loose? Uh, not, not right now. It's like snug fit. What size, what size is that? It's a 13. 13? Yeah. It's like, it's like a really tight 13. A 14 can do it, but it's like we're, it's a little bit loose and I didn't want to like strip it. So yeah. if you have a 13 and kind of like hammer it in there, it would do a lot better. Is this thing got a exhaust gas temperature? That looks like exhaust gas temperature. I don't have any gauge for that. Alright, so that should be all done there. And we just need to get to the hangers. There's a hanger there. There's a hanger there and a hanger there. So three hangers, huh? Yee. Let me get a pry bar. Dang, you already got it off. Don't let us don't underestimate the master mechanic over here. There's two hangers. <laughs> You know how long that would have took me at the house if I didn't have that uh, pry bar? Hey, just a little prying, and she'll pop right out. Watch out, because this exhaust pipe might fall. Oh, I won't. oh yeah! Boy! Here, wait a second here. Oh yeah, I forgot it's probably gonna hit. Well actually we can turn it now. Now pull it. Look at that. One whole piece. Bottom man himself. Gavin, the master. I'll be here all day. Oh my god. If I had help, I wouldn't be able to have this out. Let's line out. up and see what we got. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, let's get let's get the rest of it out. Well, that just looks ugly. I don't want to use a cat. I have to buy a test pipe now. <laughs> Broke off. That ain't good. <laughs> Guess let's try to get these two off. looking up earlier and there's like one for 60 bucks <laughs> really yeah what I mean is take that torch and get it hot enough where you get it start in the middle right there and burn a hole through there you can do that yeah Oh. You gotta watch out for that. You think it's good? Yeah. Well, that looks pretty fucking close. You're gonna walk all over the place. Walk this way! Is that Pinoy? Well, I'll eat that Oh, he is. <laughs> I guess he got done taking a shower. I'm afraid it's catching off to the side. It is. Hey, hey you about had it right there. What do you think? Yeah. Spray me. See, I'm breaking out some of that rust between the... Ah! Uh, yeah, look at this! I didn't realize I still have to use the cat, so I'm going to have to buy a test pipe this week. <laughs> I got one. You take it off the Sylvia. I think I am. I've never seen you wear jeans before, son. I don't ever wear jeans. I thought you went you to go home like and take a shower. You look like a little country Bigger boy. Bar. Get your feet wet. Mm. James just broke a damn jewel bit. 
Can't have nothing, boss. Ugh. You need to get it. I got gloves on. Go ahead. Tell oh. down there. <laughs> so what's wrong with it? You have to use that? So we had the... We tried heating them up, taking them out. We brought, I broke the studs off every single one of them. That's what we've been working. This is what took the longest. Yeah. How long did, it, how long happened, did it take? That's what happened with mine, off? remember? Wait, were oh, you there? Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. I have to take I it off. Whenever I put my test pipe on, man, it took forever. Like, literally, we had the whole exhaust pipe dropped in what? Well, Gavin had the whole... 30 minutes? Yeah. 30, 45 minutes? <laughs> and I worked on the neighbor's lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin did more than I did in 30 minutes when I was well, working yeah, on this one. Like, yeah, make a bigger hole? Yeah. Spray. Yeah, that's the only way we can get these studs out. We have to drill it out. <sighs> that's going to be an arm twister right there. Uh, that's a big old bit. I don't want to cram it down in there like I did that other one either and break it. <laughs> You need the threads right there. Ah, oh, see, I about did it right there. In a skyline. Boys, you remember when we had like Honda Civics and 240s? And be honest. And be honest. <laughs> this one right here. This one right here. Which reminds me. What's up, YouTubers? Let's go check out Gavin's Arc 7 over here. Oh, With Pinoy's old VSKS that was on his Sylvia and his. He's got a little dark noise WRX that he drives daily right now. But uh, yeah, there's Gavin's FDRX7 with the noise VSKS that he used to have on his Sylvia. Gavin's got some BC racing coilovers coming pretty soon. But his car is the same, same thing as mine. But when I say that, I meant like the paint. The paint on top is horrible, except mine's much worse than his. FDRX7. Keeping it in. Oh. You sure those holes are lined up? <laughs> what if it's like <laughs> we'll put the down pipe on real quick and then we'll hang the rest of it up, then we'll try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this uh, is all done. Get that all drilled on. out. The gasket for Let's the get turbo. Exhaust on. You know what? Hey, hand me them two nuts that are up there. I got two nuts up here for you. Oh, here, put them in my hand. I got my hand out here. Where they at? In my pants. Don't make me unzip your pants. <laughs> Quit holding my hand. <laughs> hold hand. What? Is he holding your hand? He's trying to hold it. <laughs> Let me hold his pop at you, boy. I gotta go this way. Which way? <laughs> It'd probably better if we just done these two first. I know, damn it. <laughs> Can we just leave one with hang your up? Yeah, it'd be all right. <laughs> It'll buff out. Does it matter which one? Nah, boy. They both the same hole. That's like a... Never mind, I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> they want that raw footage though. Yeah, man. Okay, that's like a pussy in the butthole right there. It'll fit in each one. As long as you can get the head in. What'd you find out? It looks like a 12 millimeter. There's two uh, uh, a bracket right there. Dude, that'd be a whole lot easier, man. Just get. What do you think you're more? 13 or 12? I'm gonna say 12. I can't find it. Here, can't Go get us one. You closer. Huh? <laughs> yeah. See, this is a 13. It ain't going. So it's a 12. Yeah. All right. So you said there's a bracket up that way. Yeah, it's just a bracket. There's a bracket right there. It's a whole bracket just for a, a hanger. Oh, really? Watch the whole ass of the car fall apart. Although I can't really see it right now. Oh, wait, I can. There's one. How many bolts is it? Two. Dopes. Two bolts for a bracket. So anybody that's watching this video and putting exhaust on their skyline just know there's two bolts for a bracket for a hanger up here. That's what it looks like. What do we do with the hanger? Look at it's that. sitting there. Oh yeah, it's on it. <laughs> I was like, what can we do with it? This thing's spinning around on me and I can't correct it. <laughs> oh! Damn, boy! I'm just getting the dirt out. You're getting it all over my arm. Shut up. Now we just gotta get the mid pipe in there. And then the cat. Oh, oh you boy. got some nuts. 
Damn, Daddy drilled them holes out perfect. <laughs> I can't even get on it because like it's all centered. Alright, we're good. That's self-holding. <laughs> all those fools are working on the car and finishing it up. I'm gonna give a little overview on the car. So don't Gavin, buy Skyline. don't buy a Skyline. Second thing is, don't buy an RX-7. Don't buy an RX-7, all right, as Gavin said. Definitely don't buy an S-15. And as Panoy would say, don't buy an S-15. Don't buy any of those three cars, all right? They're just gonna give you trouble. But a little overview of what happened. James and Gavin, they tried heating up the catalytic converter. That's <laughs> the problem why we couldn't get the exhaust on in the first place. But um, they tried to heat up the catalytic converter by the studs and the flanges because the studs were broken. Blame Gavin on that. But uh, we ult they ultimately drilled those studs out. Eventually, I'm going to have to buy a new test pipe because that catalytic converter looks ugly as hell. But uh, I'm stoked to see how this thing sounds like in a few minutes. Hey Gavin, how you feeling? Hot. All right. Take all that from me. Oh, okay. I'll leave. Uh, uh. Some fire's puppy up up here. I'm anxious to hear it harder. Oh. Okay, the exhaust is all done. Shout out to Gavin right there. And shout out to Panoy. Worked on the car for me. I didn't even do a squat, <laughs> except earlier today. Now it's time to go home, clean up, and then enjoy the rides. Let's do it.